Hello everyone. So I made this graph calculator, which which just actually you give it a formula as a string like x to the power of two, and then you just click the graph button, and here we go. It graphs it up for me, and that's so crazy. So sqrt, which is square root of x, and then graph. And here we go. One minus sqrt, and graph it up. X to the power of thirty-two. Graph it up. Plus ten. Graph it. Right. So, uh, what about sine of x divided by 10 graph? And the same with cosine and a lot of crazy cool stuff. That's so crazily cool. All right. So, here's how I made it. So, you just go to, well, let's get the exploring properties and the output. And so, yesterday I found a module by Boat Bomber. He called it graph module, right? He made it yesterday and he published it yesterday, all right? So when I seen this, I constantly just got in my mind another module called String Calculator, all right? Uh, it's by someone called The Carnival in Roblox, all right? So I merged or actually combined these two modules to create what I've done, uh, what, what you've seen there, all right? So as you see, the Graph Module by, by Boat Bomber and the String Calculator by The Carnival, all right? And with this little bit of code, 17 lines, I made that, all right? So here's what I've done. So. I required the graph render or the graph module, I called it graph render. I required the string calculator module and I called it string calculator. And then I created the graph handler, so graph render.new, and I given it the frame that it should render the graph in, which is script.parent.graph, which is this. Then I created a, a, a table of 200 elements, all right? So empty table with 200 elements. I called it data, all right? And then when you click in the text button with mouse button one click, all right? I made a loop for i equal to 0, 200, 1 do, which means this loop will run 200 times with i holding the, the number of iteration. All right, and then I did data uh, in the index of i, and it's equal to the value of string calculator script.parent.textbox.txt, which means I just got the uh, the equation or the formula from textbox. All right, and I gave it, gave it a local variable which is x, which equals to i. All right. And then I came here, so graph handler dot resolution equal two hundred, which means uh, it's like the same as the elements, so you get uh, the best kind of resolution you want. So maximum is the number of elements in the table, all right? So graph handler dot data equal to graph equal data, which means which is just um, a table holding this graph equal to the data that we created, and that's what it made it, all right? <laughs> it's so simple, yeah, uh, so crazy and cool, all right? So here's the string calculator. Probably there is a lot of crazy cool stuff here, you know. So Lua math functions, there is round, there is truncate, there is approach, and there is a lot of crazy cool mathematical functions here. And also you can add your own functions yourself, so you can use it in in the in the formulas that you put in the text box, all right? And it's pretty simple, all right. And so here is the function that it gives it. So return function formula, you give it first of all the formula and the table of local words and the table of local functions if you want to give it more functions. Like for example, let's say, let's say you give it also in the local words, you give it time, all right? So a variable called time and then you do equal to time or os dot time, right? And then let's see what's gonna happen though. So let's test, let's test. And let's see what's gonna happen. All right, so if we do, sine of x divided by 10 right and x um, well let's do plus maybe os dot time or actually time let's see and if you graph it yes it does but well I should place it here probably and as you see <laughs> I click it <laughs> and it goes like animating and that's so crazy man that's really so crazy all right and see, <laughs> we're getting like an elevation right there, and that's just so awesome. All right, that's so so awesome. So sine time, I don't think that would work because it's a constant, you know. Yes, that's a constant, so it should be times x at least. Graph, and here you go. It graphs it up. <laughs> so crazy. All right, so that was it. You'll find that this creation in the description if you want to use it, or just see the code and the the stuff. And a shout out or credits to uh, Boat Bomber and the carnival for creating these awesome modules so i use these two modules to create a insanely complicated thing just using 13 lines of code and that's really awesome all right so see you later guys by the way give me suggestions in the uh, comments and see you later goodbye